Well, you talked about Tua. Let's talk about that for a second, you guys. So there's no plans for him to retire. He said he's seeing a specialist. What are your guys' thoughts on the whole situation with the concu- four concussions in five years or five five concussions in four years? You know, I, as I say to you and I say to everybody, I'm never one to tell somebody what to do with their career. I just yep. can only go on my opinion of what I would personally do. I personally would try to figure out a way to get that 124 as close to that $124 million and call it quits. Now, does that mean negotiating with the team as a buyout? Whatever whatever it is, I'm trying to get to the money. Now, as far as playing football, yeah, but but when you've had so many concussions in a short period of time and the way these things are happening, it's not like these are normal football tackles. These are normal football plays. These aren't vicious, just gross hits to the point where it's like, okay, these are just normal Normal, normal, as as could be. I played with Wayne Corbett, Sean, and Keyshawn. And Corbett could get basically thumped on the head, and he would be done, right? And he would come back. And I remember telling Wayne one time, I said, man, you know what, man, you, 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 should, you shouldn't be playing, dog. But he wanted to play, wanted to play, wanted to play. I want to see people with their families, their kids, their grandkids, have a healthy life. But when you are programmed a certain way in playing football, it's hard to walk away when you've done so much. You got the right coach now. You got the right situation. You're the starting quarterback. You don't have to look over your shoulders and worry about being bit. I understand all of those things, but your health is so important. And the doctors over the next month that he'll be seeing all these specialists, they'll tell him what to do. They'll give him the right information and I'm sure he'll make the right educated decision along with the NFL and the rest of the team. Keyshawn, I'm with you on that. And this is why, man, um, I never like to tell somebody what to do with their money and their career. Um, I think it's unfair because we don't know what the situation is or, or, or what he got to take care of. And I also think that all of us as football players, man, to be honest, we, we in the way we know what we signed up for. Right. I'm not making it OK, but I think that we all know that we're not going to walk away from the game 100 percent. You're going to have a finger, or a knee, a shoulder. You're not walking away from the game 100%. I don't care who you are, but I think that there's a there's a risk reward to what we do, right? And if you're risking to get that close as you can to that 124 to take care of your family and generations on down, is it worth it going out there giving another shot? That's a question that he has to answer himself, even after the doctors tell him. I think that it might be a situation that they sit down and talk to him and say, look, okay, you want to go back out there, but one more time and we're pulling you. No matter what you do, if, if this happens one more time, you don't have an option. Uh, so if I'm him, man, I, I would I would really contemplate um, for one how the severity of it. You, Keyshawn, you said it wasn't a it wasn't a vicious tackle. This no. is Hamlin to say it was no collision with the knee. It was no big blow. This is a regular football play that it ended in him having a concussion. And so, like you said, it's almost like a fighter, man. When when a guy been knocked out enough, it don't take much. A little tap on the chin. A little, you know, a little something, and he is out cold. And I think that that's what the, the what we're approaching with Tua. But again, I don't think it's for me or anybody else out there to tell this man what to do for the rest of his career or what he feels and how he should take care of his family. I think that he got to make that decision. But if he does, I think that the doctors or whoever surrounding him saying, if it happens one more time, we're going to make the decision to pull you, and we cannot put you back on the field. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.